It's another nice evening, and I've decided to head out after a rabbit or two. The first of which I've spotted, just through the hedge here, off the farm lane. It's close, very close, under 10 yards, so I'm going to have to aim a little high, as the pellet at this short range hasn't even risen far enough to meet the crosshairs. But of course there's always something in the road, but I managed to move around to get a shot. And taken with a nice headshot. You'll probably also notice I'm using a different rifle tonight. I'm using my Virach HW97 and 177 calibre. As a lot of you have been asking to see rabbit hunting footage using a spring powered air rifle. So here you go. Once I've managed to climb the gate to get into the field, I walk up to the rabbit I've just shot. It's laying down into a wee tussock here, but it's cleanly shot through the head just behind the eye. I give its belly a wee squeeze to get rid of all the urine before putting it into the game bag. Across the field, at a gateway, I notice a bit of movement. There's a wood pigeon and a rabbit. Now I'm not expecting the wood pigeon to stay there, as I'm well exposed and I'll probably fly off as soon as I move, but the rabbit may well be stalkable. So I make my way down the field, slowly keeping an eye on the gateway, waiting to a point where I can see the rabbit. Once I can see him, I get into a sitting position. This should give me a steady shooting position. Now the camera is sitting above the rifle, so it's a higher view, but I'm trying to squeeze the pellet in below that bar of the gate there to hit the rabbit in the head. But I actually managed to hit the bar of the gate so I quickly reload the rifle, not really expecting the rabbit to still be there once I'm finished, but you never know. Then I get myself into a stable shooting position again, and believe it or not the rabbit's still there, so I give him a wee squeak to raise his head, and take a clean shot just behind the eye. It was a nice 30 yard shot and about what a three quarter grown rabbit. Again I give his belly a wee squeeze before putting him into the game bag. I work my way back up into the farmyard again up into my favourite spot behind these tankers overlooking the uh, vegetable garden. And sure enough there's a rabbit down in there. Of course the camera won't focus on him but there's a rabbit there alright. But it's a wee bit too difficult to shoot from where I am so I decided to move over to the, in between the next two big slurry tankers to see if I could get a better shot at them. Well, the range finder is about 35 yards. I use the wheel arches to steady the, myself and the rifle. Take aim. I'm going to have to try and fit the pellet through this uh, chicken wire. Beep. 
I managed to take him with a nice clean headshot. Bit of a tight squeeze getting in there with a game bag round you. But I'll reload the rifle before I move on. I don't want to walk down and pick that rabbit up now. I'll leave it to uh, later on and work my way around there and hopefully get another rabbit or two while I'm at it. I work my way up to this gateway. Now I've taken a rabbit or two from here before with the PCP air rifles. I wonder if I can get another one tonight. Oh, as soon as I'm there, all I see is two or three white tails dancing across the field. The only one I can see now is sitting at 50 plus yards and I don't really want to take that with a spring powered air rifle. Well, I got busted in the night. There's not as much foliage as what there was now it's autumn. So I'll make my way down into some of the other fields. I'm quite surprised how little rabbits there are out at the minute. But I decided to check up this hedgerow as there usually is one or two rabbits sitting along it. As I kick my head out round, I spot one. Slowly bring the rifle up and get clear of all the briars and stuff hanging out from the hedge. He's about 25 yards away. And as the crosshairs pass his eye, I squeeze the shot off. That's another one in the bag. Just behind the eye. Nice clean headshot. It's a good sized rabbit too. Again I'll give his belly a wee squeeze. Right out all your, the urine before I put him into the game bag. Now I'll move on to uh, pick up the rabbit I shot earlier and see if I can get myself untangled from this briar. That's a wee bit too close to nature for my liking. This is the one I shot earlier from between the two slurry tankers. It's a nice clean head shot and you can see with the blood coming from the rabbit's ears there's been a massive amount in the hemorrhaging and the brain's been destroyed. Well, I think that'll do me for the night. Oh, who's this? A wee fella. Coming over for highway. Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> well, that spoiled it. Way back to mum, aren't you? I've been getting quite a few comments lately on how do I tell a buck rabbit from a doe. Well, this is a buck rabbit here and you can see he's obviously got a couple of testicles. Now his penis is more behind his testicles rather than front. And from a distance you can tell a buck if his ears are all torn up. It shows that he's been fighting for territory. Well I've had a nice night with a spring powered air rifle and four rabbits in the bag. <laughs>